For this video, we're going to be talking about all the information you can get on the cover of a comic book and everything you need to know. So as you can see with this comic, right here we have the title of it. Generally, every comic will display the title of it unless you have a virgin variant. Right up here in the left corner, it'll show you the issue number. We have an issue number one. It'll also at the top or sometimes at the bottom, but on this one it's at the top. It displays the writer who has illustrated the comic, who has done the cover, and whoever else really has worked on it and all the various positions that go into making a comic. And down here on the barcode, you'll see the full barcode, and at the top segment, you'll see a 001, which is the numbers indicating the issue number. So no comics today, to this date, have made it over a thousand issues run. So they reserve the first three for the comic issue. So 001 means it is indeed the first comic print. Um, here we have another one, which indicates the variant cover. This is a A cover, so we have a 1, a cover, cover 1 or a cover A. Um, and the final number, the sixth number on the line, represents the printing. So this indicates that it is a first print of the comic. So we have a number 1, first variant, first printing. Okay, so for this comic, we have another Carnage Black, White, and Blood edition. It is still a number 1, but you'll see that the cover is different. It is a variant edition of Carnage Black, White, and Blood, and it is the second cover, also known as the B cover. And down here, you'll see that instead of a 00111, it says 00121, indicating that it is indeed the B cover, or issue 2 cover, of Carnage Black, White, and Blood. So here, again, we have another Carnage Black, White, and Blood first print, first edition, but it is a variant cover again. You'll notice that the cover is completely different and down here there's even a little artist signature indicating that the cover is done by a completely different artist. Down here you'll notice right here we have a signature of the artist that did the cover for variant C and the barcode again displays a 00131 indicating that this is indeed the third cover or C variant edition of Carnage Black, White, and Blood number one. Again, we have Carnage Black, White, and Blood number one. It is a variant edition again. As you can see, it is the fifth cover and it is no longer labeled anywhere when you'll be shopping as an A, B, or C cover. It, they'll just always label these as the fifth cover edition. And here we have my personal favorite, Carnage Black, White, and Blood number one, Virgin Vary. You'll notice there is no writing anywhere on the cover of the comic indicating what it is. It is a full comic art. You get the beauty of it, and it, the artist really does their best work on these. And if you'll look down here, there's a signature from Inuk, Inuk Lee, and he is one of my favorite comic book artists. He does amazing work, and he has been doing Carnage Black, White, and Blood series and tons of their cover arts. And here we have a fully graded CGC 9.8 Carnage Black, White, and Blood number one. At the top of the CGC label, you'll notice at the very top left is always the grading of a 9.8 and it'll label the comic's name, Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number one, and the month and year it came out, Marvel Comics, 521. It also says who does the variant cover, so we have an Otley variant cover here. It also lists the other names of the people who had worked on the comic. We have Timmy Howard, Benjamin Percy, and Al Ewing did the stories. We have Ken Lashley, Sarah Picknell, and John McCree did all of the art for the Carnage Black, White, and Blood number one. As you can see, there are many variations of comics. So it always comes down to what your personal preference is when you're out there shopping, trying to figure out what you want to do, if you're going to be collecting for personal use, if you're going to be reading, or if you're going for arts of work. Works, Works of, of art. art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. 
Do you want to leave that in? Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. Appreciate it so much. As promised, we'll be bringing you more comic content soon. Not going to tell you what it is. It's a surprise, so you'll have to stick around to figure out what it is. Stay tuned. You can turn on our, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications to get a notification as soon as our next comic videos will be dropping. You can also find us on Apple Music and Spotify for our podcast. We stream on Twitch every Thursday and Sunday. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.